You know, like I've said, one of the things that I've seen in the <laughs> in Uganda, <laughs> yeah, Ugandans what chichi. You guys tend to be so English. Eh? <laughs> you tend not to like your own people. Yeah. Okay? So sometimes I on purpose want to use examples of Ugandans here. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Whether you like them or you don't like them. Mm. So that we build Uganda. Oh, okay? Yes. So that we build that heart where you love this nation. I okay? Know, yeah. I'll give you two examples of um, prophetic words. I learned them from a man of God in this nation. He's called Prophet Elvis. Mm. Yeah? I, l- I got to, re- to, to just watch those clips eh? and I, I learned something. Okay? One of the prophetic words that got him into so much heat eh? all over the news yeah? was a prophecy concerning COVID. Okay? In his words, he said that while waiting on the Lord, he got a prophecy concerning COVID that there was some flu coming from China but he felt like uh, people will just say ah, there are always flus that come from China there are even many. Eh? Let me what? Leave it out. You understand? Eh? Mm. So uh, people are saying okay if you are really a prophet if you saw it you understand? Eh? Mm. And that's the problem also when people who are not schooled in these things eh, mm. uh, are the ones judging people. You understand? Eh? Some of those things that uh, people are, you get documentaries where people are talking about men of God, but the people who are discussing them are homosexuals. Let a holy man be the one to discuss another, oh, yes. you understand, eh? mm. another one in the field. You understand? Eh? Mm. So, me, I'm the kind where I'll tell you the bad that I see with that person, but I'll also tell you the good. Eh? Me, I'm not that kind who hides the good because even the Bible is not like that. Mm. They tell you, David, you want to with Beth mm. But they tell you you are the man after my own what? My own heart. Mm. You understand? Eh? Mm. So, me who has worked in the prophetic, I can tell you, me I can't argue that the man saw that thing. He has seen deeper things than that. Oh, yes. You understand? Eh? Mm. He saw it. And I'm not doing for him Kalang, because I know him or we chat or I have his number or what. You understand? Eh? Mm. I'm just, I know he saw it. Mm. You understand? Eh? But now the thing also, the lesson we can learn from that, eh? you realize he was more used to giving more words that show you that indeed God has spoken. Eh? Mm. This is worth analysis. Eh? Mm. And that thing that came subtle was going to become the most important prophetic word of the whole year. Mm. In fact, of two years. Eh? Mm. But he left it out because, you know, a time comes when sometimes we get these things and they are common to us and we are familiar with them. You understand? Eh? You can get familiar with visions. Eh? And the vision that is supposed to help you and bless you is the vision you shall neglect because for you it's a realm of visions mm. all the time. You're always seeing. You understand? Eh? Oh, yes. So, ah, he told me something. Eh? I've told you of the story of uh, Pastor Johnson Suleiman, a Nigerian minister. He came to a crusade and said, I don't want people here testifying of what? Headaches. You're healed of headache. Uh-uh. I want the lame are walking, the dead are raised. I want those ones. Eh? God told him, okay. When he got home, eh? God told him, now there is a headache coming. And it got him, I think, for a full week. And the man, he started to appreciate that a headache going is a testimony. Mm. Because, man, you can have a headache <laughs> eh? and you can't think. Mm-hmm. Eh? You can't do anything. You understand what I'm saying? Eh? Mm. You can't do anything. So, me, I couldn't bash this man. Why? Because as a follower of the prophetic, as someone who loves my nation, who has seen some of the prophetic voices in this nation, I've seen him do some crazy things. Eh? I believe actually he had prophesied this thing uh, way back. There is a prophetic word of his that touched my heart. Eh? And it also taught me something. Because he has given two words concerning the Oscars. Yeah? One, he says he was just praying his own things, minding his own business. Yeah? And the word of the Lord came to him and brought the Oscars. Oh, yes. Another one, he decided to go there on his, uh, on his own. Eh? But... I realize there is something about when the word of God comes to you and when you also choose to search out the word of God. Eh? Mm. Those two things sometimes are not the same eh? in depth. Okay. 
when a word of God comes to you, mm. yeah, mm. it can be subtle, but there is always a particular message for that season. Mm. That's why you can find that I gave a prophetic word concerning Japan. Mm. Yeah? Mm. I gave it way before September last year. Yeah? But when you go on YouTube, I realize I'm not the only person who had given it, eh? although different people had given it on different dates. You understand? Eh? Mm. I saw um, there is a prophet called uh, Brian Kajesi. Mm. He had talked about this word. Mm. Yeah? Mm. There's another prophet, an international prophet called uh, Passion Java. He had given this word as well. Mm. Different dates of receiving this word, but there, is, there was something significant. You understand? Eh? Mm. Leave alone these things where people copy. Yeah? words from each other yeah? and they are sharing things as if word for word as if you know this one heard from the other one you understand eh? no I'm speaking about genuine stuff you know mm. you heard it from the Lord oh, yeah. you understand eh? mm. and you give it eh? uh, there is something about when the word of God comes to you there is always a hidden message mm. now I analyze the prophetic word that the, this man of God got when he was speaking about the Oscars the first one I realized this thing had a message in it. I realized he was giving a prophetic word concerning the Oscars and he shared there was a mistake that these people of Oscars were doing. Mm. And that mistake was like one movie yeah, was being awarded an award instead of another movie. yeah. But the movie that was being awarded was I think there was something to do with the Moonlight yes. winning Best Picture. Mm. Yeah? And then La La Land. Mm. You understand? Eh? Mm. So it looks like there was La La Land was the one that they had given. Mm. Yeah? Mm. They gave it to La La Land. Mm. You understand? Eh? Mm. But then they realized they had done a mistake. Yeah? Mm. Then they give it back to Moonlight. Moonlight. Mm. You understand? Eh? Mm. Man, that was a prophetic message. Eh? Now, you realize that even half of the things we give you as prophetic words, sometimes if you don't sit down to decode the mysteries, you might not go further. Me, I believe that's when that man spoke about COVID. Okay? Because when you go in the Bible, <laughs> in Genesis, yeah? In Genesis, Joseph sees the sun and the moon and the stars, 11 stars bowing down to him. When he brings the dream to the father, yeah? The father tells him, are you saying me? Meaning the father was the son. And your mother, the meaning moon. the mother was the moon. Mm. And your brothers, we are going to bow down to you. Mm. Okay? Mm. And of course, we understand that that whole picture is the nation of Israel. Because we realize in Revelation, we see a woman that is covered with the sun and the moon and 11, 12 stars now mm. on her head. Mm. And the dragon is trying to pursue the child of the what? You understand? Eh? Mm. Meaning, if the moon... Eh? is the woman in this picture. Eh? You know what the Bible refers to the church as? The woman. Mm. The bride of the what? bride of Christ. You understand? Eh? Mm. So there was going to be some contention between the spirits of the land, la la land, yeah? Mm. And the church, mm. moonlight, mm. for the picture. You understand? Eh? Mm. And man, that is what COVID was. Eh? That is what COVID was. These guys were masking us. They were doing <laughs> no services, no what. You understand? I'm but I'm telling you, for some of you, you've seen how we do healings. You understand? Mm. Give me 50 people who are sick here. The speed at which the pain goes away when I say it. Mm. No doctor can do that. No medicine can do that. I'm telling you. Mm. We are the real hospital. Mm. These guys are supposed to be learning from us. Oh, yes. Mm. You understand? Eh? Mm. But I'm telling you, that thing was so deep for me. I'm, I wonder if that man has ever known the message that was hidden in there. You understand? And indeed, years later, this thing what came. Because the word of the Lord came to, what? to him. It was not him going to it. Eh? Mm. There is just something about that. Eh? Mm. Uh, I saw, always notice, eh? genuinely, eh? Notice when a word is given by one man of God and it is given by another man of God and it is given by another man of God. There is always a message there. Mm. 